Life is a journey of constant change and as we traverse through our 20s, 40s and 60s, our bodies evolve in ways we might not expect. While some changes are visible, others are more subtle but equally impactful. Today we'll explore the surprising shifts that occur across these age gaps and why understanding them is essential for living a balanced life. In our 20s, our bodies are at their peak, muscles are strong, metabolism is fast, and recovery from injuries or fatigue is quick. The energy we feel seems limitless, and we often push our bodies to the extremes, whether through intense workouts, late nights, or stressful jobs. Metabolism is rapid, enabling quick energy replenishment. Recovery times are fast due to optimal muscle and tissue repair. Physical resilience is high, often leading to taking health for granted. The 20s represent a period of invincibility. We often feel untouchable, but this can lead to neglect of long-term health. How we treat our bodies in this decade sets the foundation for later life. Although your body is resilient now, it's crucial to adopt habits that will preserve your health in the decades to come. Incorporate stretching, balanced diets, and moderate exercise as routine, not just a necessity. As we move into our 40s, the energy of our 20s begins to temper. We become more aware of our body's limitations. Recovery slows, metabolism adjusts, and what once felt effortless now requires conscious effort. Metabolism slows down, leading to gradual weight gain if diet and exercise are not adjusted. Recovery takes longer with more frequent aches and pains. There's increased awareness of the body's needs, leading to more intentional health choices. The 40s are a time of reflection and adjustment. It's when we start to understand that our bodies are not invincible, prompting a shift in how we approach health and wellness. Adapt your routine to include low-impact exercises, mindful eating, and regular checkups. Embrace this decade as an opportunity to make lasting, positive changes to your lifestyle. Chapter 3, The 60s, The Age of Wisdom and Preservation. By the time we reach our 60s, our bodies have carried us through decades of life's experiences. While we may not have the same physical stamina, there's a wisdom in how we move, eat and live. It's a time of preservation, nurturing the body to maintain health and vitality. Metabolism further slows, necessitating careful attention to diet and portion sizes. Recovery from physical exertion or illness becomes more prolonged, requiring gentler forms of exercise. The focus shifts from performance to preservation with an emphasis on mobility, flexibility and mental health. The 60s embody the wisdom of lived experience. It's a period where the body, mind and soul converge, fostering a deeper understanding of health as a holistic concept. In your 60s, prioritize activities that support joint health, flexibility and mental well-being. Consider practices like yoga, tai chi and meditation as daily rituals that preserve not just your body but your spirit. Chapter 4. Bridging the Gaps, the Journey of Understanding. Understanding these subtle shifts from our 20s to our 60s allows us to bridge the gaps between youth, middle age and beyond. It's not just about reacting to change, but embracing it, making conscious choices that honor the body's natural evolution. The journey through these decades is a testament to the human experience. It's not merely about aging, but about evolving, learning to listen to our bodies, and making choices that sustain us for the long haul. No matter where you are on this timeline, the key is to stay proactive. Recognize the needs of your body as they change and adapt your lifestyle to support those needs. This isn't just about longevity, it's about quality of life at every stage. Conclusion. The path forward. As we navigate the journey from our 20s to our 60s, the changes we experience are a natural part of life's rhythm. By understanding and adapting to these shifts, we can ensure that each decade is not just lived, but truly embraced. After all, it's not about the number of years in your life, but the life in your years.